after 18 years in the chair, I've got some experience riding buses and in, in other countries where you're not secured. Any sudden stop for any reason, it doesn't even have to be that sudden. You're going to get thrown. I work for the Action Committee of People with Disabilities. We have several goals, um, and, and one of those is ensuring the integration of people with disabilities into society. And, and one of those, a big part of that, is transportation. These electrics, this thing is at least 250 pounds, I, I don't know, in kilos. But if this thing ever got moving, you'd have lots of broken bones. Other people would be injured. It's, it's an unsecured, heavy object in a moving vehicle. It's not going to stop moving because the vehicle stopped. Last week, I nearly ran over a pregnant woman. I started moving, and the bus started moving. And anyway, I didn't hurt anybody, but I was worried about hurting somebody. This, it's very, very important to the safety of the other passengers and the person in the chair that it is secured. Because all, none of these other seats are going to move, you're going to stop. The passengers can brace themselves, grab things. The person who's a disabled rider is at the mercy of how secure they are to the bus. The roads are rather up and down and hilly and winding and twisting, which is fine, but um, it makes you a little bit nervous when you are on a scooter, when you go around a corner, you're afraid of tipping over. It would be a terrible thing if it did tip over. Even at a low speed, anything, any sudden change in direction or momentum, and you're moving. You can come right out of your chair, you, your chair starts moving, the brakes on the chairs weren't designed for that. They're designed just to sit still at a dinner table so you're not rolling away from the table while you're trying to 